Hello Diva family, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha aka Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto. And I figured I'd bring you guys another tasty recipe today. We're doing a salted chocolate caramel brownie. Looks more like a blondie, but you get the point. I love the Lily's Chocolate line. They have a lot of great offerings. And one of their most recent ones is salted caramel. And I love salted caramel everything. So that's why I wanted to add this into this recipe. The Pure Sweetener and the Swoon Sweetener are also ones that are new to me. And I've been enjoying both. So I like to experiment with new ingredients and see what we come up with. So I want you guys to let me know if you guys use these sweeteners, how you like them. Comment below. Go ahead and give your chocolate mixture another stir. Grab a separate medium to large bowl, and then we're gonna start with the eggs. We're gonna need three whole eggs and two egg yolks. Then go ahead and mix the eggs with a hand mixer, or by hand if you don't have a hand mixer, for about a minute or so until they're light and frothy. I prefer freshly grated nutmeg, so I added that in, but if you have pre-ground nutmeg, go ahead and use that. I then add one teaspoon of instant coffee just to deepen the flavor a little bit, and then I go in with the Jordan Skinny Syrup. Add the chocolate to the egg mix. Mix all the wet ingredients together until well combined. I added about a third of a teaspoon of salt and then added one cup of coconut flour. Then mix all the ingredients together on medium speed. I add one quarter cup of flour at a time and just mix in between. Go ahead and mix all the ingredients together until well combined. Now is the perfect time to add any extras to your brownies like nuts or toasted coconut flakes or whatever you choose to use. I'm gonna just go ahead and add in some chocolate chips. I had these Choc Zero chips, but I also had the salted caramel chips. You could use either. Since this is a salted caramel recipe, let's go with the salted caramel chips. Then spray your lined parchment pan with a little bit of nonstick spray and then pour in your batter. Pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for between 20 to 25, 30 minutes. It's gonna depend on your oven until it's cooked all the way through and then just go ahead and enjoy. There you have it folks, keto salted caramel chocolate brownies. I'm so glad you guys chose to stop by and spend some time with me today. I hope you guys enjoy this keto recipe. And until the next time my divas, as always, Stay safe and be well. Bye-bye.